Hello artists! I am thrilled to share a new lesson with you and I think you'll really enjoy what I have planned. We will be learning about an artist named Andy Warhol and pop art. Pop art refers to what is popular at any given time. You will be creating something that is very popular with kiddos these days and I can't wait to get started. Let's go! Andy Warhol was born in 1928 and grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was eight years old when he became ill with a disease that caused his limbs to occasionally spasm uncontrollably. As he recovered, his mother, who was an artist, taught him to draw. He was shy, but loved drawing and photography. Andy went to Carnegie Mellon University to study art. After graduating, he moved to New York in 1959 to make his name as an artist and was quite successful as a commercial artist. He even won awards for his work and was known for his unique style, but he wanted to do more with his art. In 1961, Andy Warhol founded the new style of art called pop art. He used mass produced commercial goods in his art, such as Campbell's soup cans and Coca-Cola bottles. Andy would reproduce the images over and over, oftentimes in a variety of colors to make them pop. However, this was not what pop in pop art refers to. Pop is short for popular or popular culture, meaning that he used images of products, famous people, and events in his art. Here, for example, are Coca-Cola bottles, the moon landing, and colorful portraits of the popular singer, Michael Jackson. In this lesson, we will be drawing and coloring four of the same image. The principle of design pattern will be used in the repetition of an image. Under elements of art, we will be using line, more specifically, line quality which refers to the varying thickness or texture in the lines that we draw. Finally, we will be showing value with light and dark shades of color. Now for the fun part, what will we be drawing? Hmm. What is so popular right now? Can you guess it? The super popular game with kids these days is Among Us. Are you ready to get creative with me? Uh-oh, I better get out of here. Phew, that was close. Alrighty, our friends. Let's move to the drawing table and get creative. Here's what you will need for this project. A sheet of paper. Plain white is great. A lined sheet of paper will work or any other paper that might have something on the other side that you can use the back side for. You will need a black marker. If you don't have a Sharpie or you can't use one, you can use just a water-based Crayola marker or Expo marker. A pencil would work fine or even a black crayon for outlining your um, Among Us characters. You will also need crayons. I've got a lot here going on, but you've got a couple options when it comes to your crayons. I have the ones I'll be using set out here. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple options for when it comes to crayons. We talked about value and value is the light and dark shades of a color. The Among Us characters have two shades um, of their color. They go on their backpack and their body here and then of course we have the different shades that are in the, um, the glass in the front. You can either, if you just have some basic colors of crayons, you can just color it solid and then use a black on top of it to create that second shade and it will mix with the, the color that you use and make a darker shade of any of those colors that you use. Or if you have a 24 pack of crayons, usually there's something else you can use and you might want to test them out on a sheet of paper. That's pretty much all the things that you will need for this lesson. We will start out by folding the piece of paper in half. And do that, we'll fold it down. 
I'll line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as well as it can have. And then we'll fold it again in quarters. Once you've done that, you can unfold it. I recommend you take a second sheet of paper and place it underneath since we're using Sharpie. Um, if you're not using Sharpie, you don't need to be worried about that. But um, Sharpie can bleed through and we don't want to get it on our table. The first thing we're going to do is trace our lines to create our boxes. So I'm going to do that first. And whenever you're drawing, if you need to turn your paper as you draw, sometimes it's easier to get to what you need. We are ready to draw our first Among Us character. We will start with the glass in their suit. And it's just kind of an oval shape. And it's not perfect, it looks a little kind of wonky shaped on all the Among Us characters. Then we will go back and over. Create the head. And come back to the front. Imagine the line passing through that glass there. I'm gonna draw the bottom of the feet. The line's going up. And usually the line travels a little bit past there. Next, we need the backpack. And then we're ready to move on to the next one. This one, I might make the glass a little bit bigger. All the Among Us characters are slightly different. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that. Once again, I'll draw the glass. When that is done, you will move on to line quality. I talked about that earlier, and line quality is varying the line. So these are pretty basic here, um, just straightforward drawing. You want to add some thickness and thinness, and that's one of the things about all the Among Us characters. If you look in any of the Among Us characters, you're gonna see that they have some really thick areas and thin areas, and it adds more character to your drawings. So you're gonna go through and just thicken up some of those lines. Um, when you decide where you, where you want it to be, it could be kind of random, or it could be just where shading might be. That is really up to you how you wanna do that. So I'm just gonna go through here and thicken up some of my lines. That part is done. I am ready for crayon. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, the red. And just as I've done here, you'll create a little curve down at the bottom and a little bit of a value part right here, as well as the top and then the gray parts at the bottom, just for reference. As we've talked about in class, I always start with bumper coloring that's around the edges, and that gives me a really good line to keep from going out of my lines. Here on out, I will just continue coloring and see how this thing turns out.
Now I'm gonna go back and add the shadow underneath each of our Among Us characters or aliens or whatever you need to call them. And by that, I just do a, an, an oval that goes all the way around. And I imagine it going between the legs here. Maybe even close up a little bit. You can always balance it out afterwards. But it will be filled in then. Last but not least, I'm going to wrap it up here and make it look complete by coloring in the background of each section a different color. I've already picked my colors here and we'll just get right to that. That's all friends. This was our Andy Warhol pop art inspired Among Us characters. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed playing the game if you've played it before. Um, if you don't have quite as much time to do this much detail, I understand that. You could make a smaller portion of it on a smaller sheet of paper. You could go without coloring in the backgrounds. The main thing that I want you to show me on this is what we talked about earlier in the video, is that you are doing repetition and you are using line quality by thinness and thickness of the line. And you are also showing me two different values of the same color or two different shades, a light and a dark shade of the same color. If you show me those things, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.